Well, I don't think we got a rival, man. Yeah. <laughs> There's a division team, and uh, well, we happen we happen to be playing in the first round of playoffs. What about the, the internal rivalry? Like you and say you you and D will. Is there one? Uh, I mean, he's a great player. You know, yeah. and it's a point guard against point guard. We all try to. I know as fellow point guard myself and whoever else in the league, they want to be the best point guard in the league, and they want to go out there and do their job. What about his game? Throughout. Uh, like everything he does, you know, he, he can score, he can shoot, pass, handle. Um, he's creative. You know, I, I've you know, I've played against him now seven years. You know, and I've always been a fan of his. But you know, this time is not the time to be a fan of somebody. You know, I'm going out there and you know I'm gonna do my job against him. He's gonna do his job against me. I know you've said throughout the year that it's 15 deep, but I wonder as the year has gone on, have you noticed certain things that you could do as a leader to get responses out of your guys? Nah, I mean, we got 15 deep. Like I said, we're a good team. We're a complete team. Everyone, everyone feeds off of everybody else. So it's not one person. It's you know, it's everybody. You know, helping everybody. You got. You expect them maybe just to turn up the pressure against you, try and get turnovers, that type of thing. I expect us to turn up the pressure and, and physicalness and, and physicality, and I'm sure they will. Also, I mean, I know you may have addressed this yesterday, but there was a lot of talk about they. The, they were tanking to get you guys. How do you guys respond to that? I mean, do you take that as an insult? If it's no, we're, we're not in their mindsets. You know, they rest the guys. That's what they did. And, you know, we're going to go out there. We're going to do our job. We're going to motivate ourselves. You know, we're a self-motivated team. You guys talked about wanting to keep things the same um, going through the playoffs. 12-30 game, how did that change the preparation for you guys? I mean, you just got to prepare. I, I think everyone's going to be ready to go tomorrow. You know, it's an early game, but, you know, we're professionals. You know, you know when, no matter what time that game is, no matter what situation, where it is played, you got to be ready to play. And uh, I think our guys are going to be really, you know, ready to play tomorrow. You're, you're a veteran in this league, and you've obviously accomplished a lot, but what have you known about your own development around and with this group of guys? I'm just being able to be excited for everyone. You know, I think I mean, me personally is one of the things where I, I, I want to see everyone, everyone really, really succeed because, you know, we really are like a brother, a, a band of brothers. And, you know, when I say 15 deep, I really believe that. Kyle, do you ever reflect back, now looking back on it, how close that trade was to New York and how fortunate it is that you were able to stay? You know, I don't look back on it. I didn't look at it when the time was, you know, upon it. But, you know, I, I got to. I didn't pay much attention to it, and um, I'm not even. That time is long gone now. So, if it would have happened, it would have. We'd have been talking about it. I'd be talking to probably a different media <laughs> scrum, but um, it didn't, and I'm talking to you guys. We talk about the playoff experience. I know it's been addressed uh, a few times, but the fact that obviously you guys don't have a lot of it, and they do. Uh, we gotta start somewhere. <laughs> You know, at the end of the day, you gotta lace them up. You know, just like you gotta start somewhere when you start interviewing, right? It's your first time. You gotta start somewhere. In terms of, you know, game one, obviously you want to win all the games, but how critical is it for you guys to win the opener? We gotta protect home. You know, home's not gonna protect us. We gotta go out there and protect home court. We played for it. We got the three seed. You know, there's a reason we're a three seed, and we got home court advantage. When Jay Kidd hopped right into coaching from last year when he was a player, did it surprise you at all? No, I mean, I think everybody, every player knew he was going to be a head coach sometime, but I didn't, you know, no win, but it happened right away, and he's done an unbelievable job. You know, I think he's, you know, he turned that season around, and, and the guys, and the group of guys they have, you know, they, they helped him, but I'm sure he's grown as a coach, and he's, you know, obviously got his team to the playoffs. What about him made everybody know that? Just, you know, you're playing against him, you know, and yeah. it's kind of, and I can't really, it's hard, it's hard to explain, but just playing against him, you understand how, you know, this, how smart he was. You understand and, that he understands. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now you say it. I'm joking. <laughs> 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 When's the last time you get angry on a basketball court? Or do you? Me? Yeah. Angry every every time something happens, usually. But <laughs> just a, it's, a, it's a matter of you know channeling it the right way and, and putting it behind you. If something doesn't go the right way, you can't dwell on it. You got the next play. Literally, I mean, you got a split second to get over it. And I think you know me and uh, our team. You know, if, if someone gets mad, it's like, I would have get over it and just move on to the next play. Having said that, controlling emotions, that can be a big part of this series? No, nah, I mean, I think guys are just going to play. It's going to be fun, man. I'm, I might laugh, I might smile out there, you know, because it's fun. You know, it's going to be a great crowd. It's going to be a challenging series. You know, we're in the playoffs, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be an unbelievable sight tomorrow. Do you see yourself as a leader on this team? Like, do you, do you feel guys look up to you? I go out there and do my job. And, you know, as professionals, you know, you go out there and do your job, everyone's going to follow you and they say, hey, you respect the job that you're doing. So that, that's all that matters to me is I'm doing my job. You were 
saying everybody has to start somewhere. Do you think a bit too much has been made of the whole experience thing? Uh, I don't know. I don't care really about the experience and, and people making whatever. They're going to say what they're going to say anyway. We're just going to go out there. We're self-motivated. We got to start somewhere. We got a young group. We got guys who've been in the playoffs. We got guys who haven't been in the playoffs. We got to start somewhere.